My name is Jing Peng. Uh, previously, I got a bachelor degree in radio and television journalism obtained in China. My master degree is intercultural communication obtained in Sheffield with distinction. And after that, I got an offer from PwC as a management consultant. One sentence to summarize what I do is that we help the business to perform in a smarter way, um, reduce their cost, improve their performance, or enlarge their scale in their specific market. One typical day in my um, working as a management consultant can be um, being on client set in Leicester in a university, um, having a meeting in the morning, sorting out the agenda for the whole day, assessing some of the documents and assessing some of the tools and outputs we deliver for the clients, and then communicate with different colleagues about the whole project, and then different meetings, different Excel, emails, PowerPoint, you know, the, the use of different tools. And uh, maybe later on in the day, if necessary, we would be able to give a presentation to the client, telling them, briefing them, this is what we're going to do, and why we think that this is going to benefit them. We can get such a strong and powerful network in PwC. There are just all kinds of opportunities, all kinds of the people that we want to talk to. Say, if I am really interested in cyber security, or if I'm really interested in data visualization, there is always someone I can find. And all my colleagues, they are just super supportive. They are willing to tell me what is going on and even give me some brilliant ideas about how to get more information, and more exposure in this area. I see a very strong international network. We do have people from different cultural backgrounds build up their own community and try to take in different perspective views from different parts of the world. And other people are always willing to know more about what is happening in China. The second thing that I really enjoy is the diversity of my work. It can be one day recruitment event, it can be help an organization um, reducing their cost, it can be uh, talking to the staff working in our client company, interviewing them, uh, doing surveys. It can also be just giving a presentation to their CEOs. Two things I did was a a uh, volunteer cashier working at New Route. The second volunteer thing I did was an assistant um, working in the beer festival, helping the clients. Uh, Part-time jobs involves international office ambassadors. I'm our TC, student ambassador. Yeah. And then I also worked as a part-time interpreter and translator for Talking Hat, which is a local private company specializing in translations. In terms of um, student societies, I just follow my passion and signed up with um, performing arts, hip hop dance, uh, fencing society, and um, um, also Kelly dance societies, I believe, and different societies. And in terms of student activity, I got the chance to be an MC, I mean a host, for the International Cultural Evening that was held in Sheffield City Hall. I also worked as a volunteer teacher for an uh, international language festival that held in Sheffield as well. They helped me realize my potential. It was only after I stopped to do the part-time jobs and voluntary work that I realized that business is not something that is so far away from me and I actually have the potential to do well in business. The more opportunities I had to practice my English so that my language ability would help me to stand out as well. I become a person who not only have the experience, uh, who, do not, who not only speak fluent English, but also my mother tongue is Chinese. I do have my Chinese perspective. I engaged closely with career service. I had very regular appointments with my career advisor and I, take, I, I, I trust my career advisor, I take the guidance and I always aim to produce higher level or higher quality ap ap job applications. I uh, make sure I use all the resources available for me such as booklets produced by the career service, I go to the website, I take all the uh, flyers and I read all the posters and also make sure I go to all the available recruitment fair for me and get all the information I need to know about the job market in the UK. 
uh, if I am going to give one advice, I would say push yourself out of your comfort zone. Try to experience as much as possible um, and make sure that um, you're getting more involved with the student activities in a more positive way.